Yo guys, what's going on? My name's Cody HD. Welcome back to another video of mine. Now today, you've got the hype put part thing. Let's kick things off with a game at Wickham. Uh, so hopefully we can get three points here. Uh, we start off really well here with Jordan Hugel winning back the ball. He gets very lucky here. He, pay, he bloody strengths out the defender. That's a wonderful finish from our main man. Now the last time he scored for Hartlepool was when we beat Exeter last season, if we're trying to be realistic, uh, on the last day of the season. But he puts it in the back of the net this time, and it's a wonderful finish from him. And um, if you need someone, guys, a striker-wise, sign the kid up. I can't really say the right winger's name, um, but he cuts down here in the, on the right-hand side, passes to Hawkins, and Hawkins makes Ingram make a brilliant save. Carroll to Hawkins, um, and, oh, mate, you should actually play him because he's... It's bloody fantastic. Um, but Ki Yomia, however you say his name, cuts down, cuts inside, bobs your uncle into the back of the net. Now he is really good, guys. Like, at a, like I know some commentaries and that. <laughs> I might say he's shy and some like say he's unreal, which I'm saying now. But um, he's one of those players that just gets on your nerves, but is unreal as well, if you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, sign him up, guys, because he is good. Uh, we have a nice counter attack here with Kalalulu doing a nice ball to Curtis Thomas, our substitute. That's just come on. Can he make it 3 0 in the 83rd minute? No, he can't because the goalkeeper makes a terrific save. Now, they got a free kick here with Paul Hayes. Um, he's looking for that little goal. Wood makes us jump. We jump again, but it's a nice little save from Trevor Carson. Now, he's been on top form recently. He's the fourth keeper in League 2 to keep the most clean sheets, which is alright. Um, but from that, guys, they're getting out, and we do actually win our first game of today's episode. You've got quite a lot of games today, guys, because it's nearly the end of the season. We do some training here, and um, they all get good grades, to be fair, apart from Carroll. Um, but that's what you want to see. But I'd advise you, if you do a Hartlepool United Cream mode for yourselves, play Hawkins. Play Hawkins, because he's bloody brilliant. Um, you can see there, I'm just putting out the team again, but Taylor... Uh, he's been unreal for Oxford. I think he's like the second go top goal scorer. He makes the post rattle here. Now I think Carson got fingertips on that, but either way, uh, we were very lucky. Some bad defending here. Carson has to come to the rescue. Ian Acho, shy to pass. Long gets to Rufy. Rufy to Taylor. Taylor to that guy, and it's a wonderful, wonderful save from Trevor Carson. We get a free kick though, guys, in the 35th minute with Woods batting us, and I thought this went in, guys. It was a beautiful strike, but it didn't, and I was f absolutely gutted because it was a lovely shot. But anyway, Featherstone comes down in the right-hand side, cuts inside, shoots, and it's a really good save by the keeper. From that resulting corner, Duckworth passes it Hawkins, Harkins shoots, get deflected, and you know, you can, you can just see the rest. It was some bloody... Brilliant defending, and um, but in the 60th minute, Wood gets a chance here and puts it. Out, oh, just puts it wide, and I subbed him off. Right, I subbed him off for Curtis Thomas. So here we go, guys. There's one gone. There's one. He's looking for that second one. Number two gone, and he's just sprinting, guys. Number three's gone. Uh, he's just going to cut back inside, rip everyone. I think that's he's going to be his fourth man, fifth man. Bob's your uncle. What a goal! That might be goal of the season, guys. You never know. Um, I'm actually thinking of doing that at the end of the season. I'm going to put all the best goals in. So let us know what you think of that. But um, what a wonderful goal by Curtis Thomas. Which you can't, you know, I'm loving life. I'm loving life. Um, but the way he done it, I, I think, guys, I think I've got him on a loan. But to buy, so hopefully I, I can, I've got enough money to buy him. That's his only fair goal in the Football League too, if you believe it or not. I think he's got more than that. But a lovely ball from him to Ian Acho, Bingham. Well, he actually misses the Bingham to him, and you can just see all that because it happened so quick. It was like um, if you watch the Watford game um, the other day against United, it's the same kind of goal that Schweinsteiger scored. It was an own goal by um, oh bloody hell, I can't remember. It was oh, scored the own goal, but it was just exactly like that, and we get our second win, guys, of today. Now, we sim a game against York here, which we won 2 1. So, we've got Newport and Yeovil left, guys, in today's episode. So, you are getting the full April game treatment. Um, but we start off in the second minute brilliant here with Duckworth coming down. He's just looking to do what he normally does in games when he scores worldies. He shoots, but it's a bloody brilliant save from day and night. 
Um, yeah, I've just made that joke. But anyway, Carroll does a nice volley at Bingham in the 45th minute. I thought, fuck it, so I cut inside. And uh, the pace of them was just good enough for the defender. And the keeper should have really done better. But I don't give a shit because it was a bloody brilliant run, brilliant pass, a brilliant goal. And you can see all of us going mad here. Now, the table as it stands, we're second and we need Notts County to cock up, basically. So every every single goal counts, and every single go, every single tackle counts. That's his eighth goal in the football league too. Ian Acho's on twelve, so hopefully I can catch up with him. But Hawkins does a lovely volley when Ian Acho. He can get his fair inf, but it's a bloody brilliant save again from their goalkeeper. Now in the sixty-six minute, yeah, we get some absolute like bullshit. Like I pressed A and X and B and everything for Carroll man ahead of that ball, and he just let it slide in there, put it in the back of the nest, and I was like, why mate, why, just, Arr. so, that guy scores, it's fair goal in the football league too, we try our best to get back, with Featherston doing a lush ball to Lewis, the left wing free agent that we signed ages ago, it cuts inside, but once again, it's a bloody brilliant save from Day, and that would be it guys, we would drop two points unfortunately, a point's good, I'll take that, but, it was a bit of a disappointment. We sim a game against Yeovil here, guys. The last game of today's episode. And we win 1-0, which is bloody brilliant. So we've won all won all games apart from one in that uh, what, like uh, month. But we've got Akron, Stanley and Barnett in the next episode, guys. And that's going to be live because Notts County's on 85 and we're on 83. So if they're cut up, you're going to see my reaction. I hopefully win the league. I'm going to get promoted anyway. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, then please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you all in my other videos in a bit.